If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. Hey, Brutus. Buddy. What them doings? Come here. Up, 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 up. Hey, YouTube. It's Sean and Brutus, Griffin RC Planes. So, today's video, we've got the Uproar version 2. We're going to put the motor on it. We had one and we took it off and now this one's going to go on. The one we took off had the had the main center shaft sticking out of the back and that was crowding the area that the battery pack is going to go. So we just rearranged a few things. And then I want to show you a cool little telemetry uh, gizmo. This is the aircraft telemetry flight pack energy sensor and this will show you how many milliamps your plane is uh, consuming out of your battery pack very similar to the smart speed controls but if you don't have a smart speed control and you're using just a regular speed control and you have a telemetry capable receiver that have that has a spot for xbus then this is something cool to have and i figured we'd plug it up real quick and uh and show it to you then let me tell you something that'll probably make you sick made me sick these are hot wheels but not just any hot wheels these are treasure hunt hot wheels and you can tell by looking between the car and the card printed on on the backing here you know the, the cardboard kind of got to look down in there or, or down in there and these are treasure hunt this is a super treasure hunt this is the same car in the mainline edition this super treasure hunt is worth probably 90 bucks right now this one's worth 99 cents all of the regular treasure hunts might be worth double their value right now two bucks or something these are all from the past two years three years ago i discovered treasure hunt and in my next video i'll tell you a little story about how uh, how this all went down so let's put the motor on the x roar x roar uproar i was thinking x bus on the uproar and then let's hook up this uh speed control and this sensor and I'll show it to you. All right, sit tight. So the motor we had on there was the same type motor, but just the way it was set up, this main shaft was sticking out of the back, like a good ways, and it was in turn sticking up into the battery compartment. So I've just swapped this motor with a one off a different plane, and so it doesn't have that shaft. The reason the shaft was sticking out of the back is because I once had it sticking out of the front and I was using a, uh, a prop adapter that was a collet style. A collet
collet is not not this one. The collet is when you tighten it, it grabs the shaft. Very similar to putting a drill bit into a drill. That type. I still think those wires bend way too sharp. I almost thought about almost putting another hole right there and just letting it come come in that way. That is pretty dang pretty dang tight. Right, lean that way if you want. I'll probably do a bunch of adjusting but for now so we can see that cool telemetry device we will put it on like this I'm just going to start all the screws before I really tighten it up so that so all the threads get started in the in the bind nuts in the in the back Wiggling and jiggling until I know they're threading in there nice and smooth. Yeah, you guys are in for a pretty good story when I tell you about my about the Hot Wheel treasure hunt ordeal. It's quite the uh, it, it goes hand in hand with my personality. Put it that way. How many of those things have you guys thrown away throughout the years, or or, or your kids had them? You know, you get them one and you rip it out of the package and they just do whatever, and you could have had a super treasure hunt the entire time every last one of those treasure hunts and super treasure hunts I've personally found at a store either Kroger is our local grocery store I've had found a few at Walmart not many Target not many um, <clears throat> I, I do best at, at, at stores similar to uh, Kroger or, or you know or, or pharmacies or something just just where I happen to be lucky one time I got so lucky that um, the store was putting out their their new I don't know box of Hot Wheels for sale you know like in a in a store they might have this cardboard stand the setup like just sitting in the middle of the aisle and it has a you know a ton of whatever in it this was hot wheels and i think they set it out they had to have like that day and i found three super treasure hunts and that one stop right there sold two of them on uh on ebay for a little under a hundred bucks each and then kept one for myself because they were all three the exact same all right we're gonna put <clears throat> we're gonna hook that speed control up and uh, because you got to have a you got to have a motor and a speed control connected to that telemetry uh, the flight pack thing. So let's hook it all up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to show you is this. This is the aircraft telemetry flight pack energy sensor. This telemetry sensor will show you on your transmitter and you don't need a fancy transmitter you can have the generation one and up transmitters the dx7s or dx8 uh, silver transmitter the generation one and everything above it of course 
that's how you can have telemetry on the older transmitters okay so we have an AR610 receiver just a basic receiver no gyro no safe no nothing just just a receiver however in the in the bind port area it says bind program data if it says data then you can use a TM1000 the TM1000 is a gateway a doorway to have telemetry with a receiver that doesn't have it on its own in the TM1000 itself it can have temperature which we have a temperature sensor wrapped around the battery pack and you can have your battery pack voltage but there's nothing plugged into that side of the Y harness also it has RPM and it, you could use an optical RPM sensor for a gas or glow engine or a brushless RPM sensor then coming out of the TM1000 is X bus plug the X bus plug is how you can daisy chain other sensors and this is one here and you can see coming out of this flight pack sensor is the plug for X bus also there's another plug right there and that's how you can go to another sensor and another sensor and another so battery pack comes into the flight pack energy sensor and then to the ESC the power wire just flies right on by the sensor and the sen and everything that you're going to read the RPMs I mean the amp draw and the milliamp usage is all by the ground so let's power the transmitter I'll show you guys the screen of the transmitter in a second we'll just get her all plugged up here and on <coughs> Just like that okay guys the first thing you'll have to do is go to telemetry and you need to tell the sensor how many milliamps is in your uh, in your battery pack so here we have the flight pack MAH that's what it is and I inputted 3300 because that's the size of my battery pack and then I also put the 60 amps for the speed control and then on the main screen We'll run through the Volume through the 50. telemetry, and we have the flight log that comes with the TM1000. That's your signal strength. You can see we have two antennas: one on the TM1000, one on the receiver. That's why A and B is set up. And then this is just the minimum and maximums. But you can see we have the temperature of the battery, and we have the receiver voltage. There's that temperature again, and here's our flight pack. So as I start to give it some throttle, you can see our, our amps and our milliamps being used. So it's pulling one amp and then it used one, it used one, one milliamp right there. Obviously if you had a propeller and more of a load on it, it would be, you know, consuming a whole lot more, but you get the idea that way. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helped a few of you out or gave a couple of you some entertainment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you haven't. I want to mail this jet out to somebody soon. All right. Hey, thank you, guys. Until next time, you'll see me here.